Let's go, baby! <laughs> That's right. It's the Austin Matthews yeah. live stream. Now, I did a vote. Who do you want to see? Uh, we had a, pretty much a split between Patrick Kane and Austin Matthews. So today we're doing Matthews. Tomorrow we will do Patrick Kane. I hear you guys. Uh, <laughs> I got some great shots. Austin Matthews has a very signature release. He's got a unique style of shooting the puck. Guaranteed you have not practiced shooting the puck this way before. So you definitely want to stay tuned for this breakdown. I've got uh, four or five different ways that we're going to learn how to practice like Austin Matthews plays, and you're going to be able to drop that in your game. But first, got a bit of first, a challenge. We got a challenge. And also, we're doing the, uh, the giveaway. We got the draw. A bunch of the people who have been uh, contributing, uh, you know, good chats. Yeah. Uh, we see you every day in the stream. Good questions. You've been posting on quarantinecamp.ca. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen you on Reddit. We got your names in the hat. We're giving away a $50 hockey shot gift card. So this is our way of giving back to you guys. Really appreciate uh, everyone who is tuning in, joining us, and getting better at hockey. The best game in the world. <laughs> yeah. First, we got a challenge. I'm going to challenge Hayden. End of the stream, he's going to challenge me. And in this challenge, we're challenging you. We want you to try the same thing. See if you can beat us. Yeah. Hayden doesn't know what, what we're up for here. Uh, yeah, what's the, oh yeah, I guess it's a surprise. You don't know mine either. Hayden, I don't know Hayden's challenge. He doesn't yeah. know mine. Mm -hmm. Hayden, the challenge is a, an accuracy competition, since you're talking about shooting. Okay. But this is not your ordinary accuracy competition, no. All right. I am going to be throwing these targets in the air you got to snipe them out of midair. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we've got 12 targets. Uh, I'm going to throw all 12. Hayden's going to try to snipe them. And then we're going to see, what do you guys think? Is he going to hit one? Is he going to hit two? None, right? Oh. Only 12 throws. I and need then, a warm up. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's my turn. He's going to throw them. Uh, whoever hits the most, or maybe we got to keep on going. I don't know. Maybe it's going to take 50. If it takes 50 <laughs> throws, we're just calling it. A draw. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, don't, we don't have this going the whole time. Yeah. And then we're going to challenge you guys. Throw, have a friend or a, a parent, you know, someone at your place, throw some targets. Uh, yeah. If you don't have targets, you could like cut some out of cardboard. You could use uh, your parents' fancy uh, dishes, you know, your fine chuck. No, don't throw that. <laughs> but find something that you don't mind breaking, chuck it across and try to throw it. So here we go. We're going to try like it. like a pillow or something. You want to shoot pillow. first? Yeah, sure. Hey, Hayden's shooting first. All right. Let me give you guys a different angle. All right. Oh, you can see that pretty well. I'm just going to drop this down. Uh, let me know in the chat. Oh, we already got a super chat coming in. Appreciate all the support, guys. Nice. Uh, un undeniable over at uh, on YouTube says, I already scored five goals. Hey, if we Thanks get this, we happy like, birthday, I really appreciate it. Ray, bro, happy belated birthday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. yeah Natural we beauty. I did see your super deaker uh, challenge. We will be working on that. Let's angle this down just a little bit. Hey, if we get so uh, the, the pucks. A sizable uh, donation today or something. We might have to add them to the hat. At the oh, end or no, no. We'll keep it out. We're going to do more giveaways later. So I'm oh, going okay, to right, throw right. the targets, guys. How many uh, shots do you think it's going to take for Hayden? How many tries? Are we going like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we got 12 here. Hey, so like I've got like these orange ones that I'm going to chuck. And then I have these, these rubbery like silicone ones from Hockey Shot. Okay. Uh, they should be fun. Do you think he's even going to hit him? Do you think he's going to... I'll get rid of the green ones. They're pretty small. Uh, will Hayden even hit a target out of the air? And if he is going to hit it, how many tries is it going to be? If, if he gets it in one... Ooh, can you how imagine? High, how high are you going to toss him? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to... So I, I'm going to basically throw them like across and into the net. Okay. I'll move it a little like this way. So you have okay, to, yeah, yeah. All right. So you're going to kind of chuck it into the net. Like they'll, they'll be kind of like landing like in there. All right, so mid-net, mid mid-net. Yeah, mid-net, okay. mid-air snipes. All right. So this is my challenge to Hayden. Let's see if I can win it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh Woo! my gosh. <laughs> no, you did not. Yeah. <laughs> One shot. Nailed it. Come yeah. on. I thought this was a challenge. <laughs> and not even a challenge. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, so I, ha I have to get in a one. <laughs> Let's, okay, we're, I'm going to throw the rest of these and see if we can do that. That was luck. That was luck. What do you guys say? <laughs> we'll I can't. I, Did no anyone one. in the chat say one? I uh, doubt it. They've all been ripping oh on me for gosh. the longest time on my accuracy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, let's throw the rest of these and then yeah. it's my turn. <laughs> there we go. Oh. 
Oh, not this puck. Not oh, this puck. I thought you were ready. This puck sucks, guys. It's got like grit and tape. Old tape Let's go. Right Shoot on. some pucks. <laughs> then we're going to start training like Matthews. Should have just ended it, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh I picked that got one. Got that one. That's two. I swear. I, I, heard I, that. I think you might have tickled that one, but. Did oh. that? Oh. There we go. That's three. Not bad, man. Oh. Four. Not bad. Not Four bad. Four out of 12. Okay, that's impressive. I like the orange ones better because you can hear yeah, when you hit nice it. Nice click. So yeah. he got one for one and then four out of 12 total. That's going to be tough to beat. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. <laughs> I, I thought this was going to be a pretty difficult challenge. He, did, he he's rose to the occasion. Uh, so after this challenge, guys, we will be going through uh, how to shoot like Austin Matthews. Got a lot of great clips. And then after that, I'm going to challenge Hayden. Uh, by the way, this challenge is also for you. I want to see you guys try this. Post it on Instagram. Uh, it's at how to hockey. You can tag me there if you guys are trying this cha challenge. Let me know how many times it takes you to hit it. Maybe it's like it takes you 50 tries. It's okay. Work on your accuracy, guys. It's a fun little challenge for you. Which side do you want to put the net on? Love the accent. So Ontarian. It says, <laughs> I'm the only Astro. Yeah, uh, yeah this I think side? I like that. I like to see it coming in. All right. My Am I missing it? I got one, two, three, four, so five, six, eight. Eight. How many of the orange ones did you throw? I don't know, like, I think eight. Okay, we're missing one then. Oh, it might have bounced. Yeah, whatever. Okay. okay. Here, you one, don't need the full here. 12? No, I'm going to hit every single one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I got to hit the very first one. I'm ready. I'm going to go soft ones first. Yeah, that's right. Just, it's got to be a good throw here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Just a little high on that one. Whoa. Oh. Getting close. Oh, that was just under, just I'm like under. I'm tickling these. Ooh. Oh. All right, now looking, you got the good one. Now looking good for me. There's okay, one. There yeah. you go. Sniped one. Two. Two, two, two in for a two. Row. I like that. Nice. Yeah. Three in a row. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> Four. Four in a row. The Get orange it. ones, you just love them. Oh. Get right. out of my garage, Hayden. <laughs> oh, no. Five. Oh. Five. Five. Did it look good at the beginning? Good nice challenge. One. I come out on top. I did not expect to hit four in a row. That's ridiculous. Um, they, it was all in the throws, guys. He was rapid firing them. I was waiting for him to be ready. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, I was. I was working on your quick release. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the challenge. I want to see you guys try that as well. Um, we're gonna grab the iPad now. And, and Hayden, oh, we got the super chat up to 12 bucks. Ooh, nice. Thanks for contributions, guys. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think uh, you gotta, uh, I deserve yeah. the gold horn. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice. We need like a WWE belt to wear or something like that. <laughs> so Hayden's gonna set up um, a challenge after we yeah. uh, do the Austin Matthews how to score like Matthews. I'm going to, uh, oh. This is ready? just this is just fun. Getting ready to peg some targets there, bud. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just I'll just get right into the, uh, the Austin Matthews breakdown. So Matthews has a really unique style, guys. Up on the the old iPad here, and I've got a few. Uh, I, I discovered some things actually while analyzing this video that were pretty interesting. And hold on, hold on. Does this look familiar? Let's go, baby! <laughs> I figured I would open the stream with that one for all the, uh, the Austin Matthews fans out there. Actually, a great uh, game was when he was doing that and then Patrick Kane scored a sweet goal. Yeah, we got to do Kane to follow it. up because oh, of that. Yeah. That is actually beauty. I'm going to open <laughs> yeah. Patrick Kane one with that. Can you uh, grab the gold yeah. medal on this? Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely got to do the uh, the Pat, Patty Kane yeah. answer. That was fun. Like they're they're both American hockey players. Yeah, I love Austin Matthews. So humble, like really cares about his team. Like not to like pull himself or anything. Mm -hmm. um, great role model. Glad he ended up on the Leafs. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> One more time. What? Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're working on first. Is his signature shot. I'm gonna. Oh wait, right. And I little. Here we go. Bling. A little smile. Yeah, it's like such a baby. Loves there. the score. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so signature shot. See if you can pick anything out of this, and we're gonna break it down. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Right. We got some slow mo here the legs. for you. I'm nice. gonna show you exactly what Austin Matthews is doing here and how you can practice it because it is pretty unique. So let's play this from the beginning, and I'm gonna show you what I noticed uh, right from the start. Wide stance. Po his toes are pointed towards the net. Puck starts in front. Right. So this is a setup. He could pass from here. He could deke. He could, he can't really shoot though, because the puck is in front of him, right? So he has to move it to shoot. When he moves it, he moves it outside of his base. And you can see his feet are still together, but the puck is outside his base. And I'll show you a different angle on this so, so you guys can get a good idea. He does a toe drag, says Kevin Chang. <laughs> yes, he does. Almost, he has a few different types of shots. This is one of the signatures. So you see the puck right on the toe, boom, right? And, and look at the defenseman. He's, he's manipulating the, uh, the defenseman's stick because he moves the puck from in front over here. You see the stick, the defenseman? He's got to move it. He's trying to get stick on puck. And that's Weber. He's no uh, slouch yeah. out there. <laughs> Toe drags it just around to create a shooting lane. And look at that flex right there. That's the sweet spot right there. But he brings it like so close to that foot. It's, it's almost like it's, it's underneath his body. Literally like so close to that foot. And look at this, like he drives this one back to get that power, but also open up space to bring that puck inside and then release from right there. So it's a much different style of shot than most of you guys are, are used to. Actually, um, like the, the younger players, this is what I see a lot. We're gonna break down a little bit more, but a wrong-handed stick here. <laughs> Grab the old Colt. So the younger players, right, used to doing this, right? Draw it way back here and see how far away it is, right? and then just and drive through. Whereas Austin Matthews, he's towing it in and he's shooting from like right here, which I'm sure a lot of people have not tried to do that. Let's break it down from a few different angles though. Where'd I put that up? There you go. <laughs> On top of the net. <laughs> break it down for a few more angles just so you guys get a, a great look at this. So there we go. Boom, again, small trial, big smile. Here we go, same thing, just to show you. So this is a different team. It looks like the exact same shot, same spot, right? Wide base right there. The uh, puck is outside his base. He drives this leg back. He brings the foot, the, the puck in there, shoots from inside. And look at the space he creates right here. So he can pull, push, right? Boom, nice shot. Same thing on the other side of the ice. Wide base, pucks outside the base, toes pointed at the ice. It's a replica, drives that foot back, and he actually jumps onto that front foot. Yeah, he like and launches himself You see that it. flex? Yeah. You see that flex? <laughs> All right, boom. Ripped it. All right, and here's another one, okay? So Ottawa, and in this one, it's more extreme. Look how far, so wide base again, right? And he is like leaving the puck way out here because he's trying to bait the defenseman to go here, right? He wants to shoot the puck through this lane. So he's like, he's, he's putting it out far so he can bait that player to swing And the stick. goalie is lined up to the, the goalie as yeah. well. Goalie's taught to line up to the puck. So everything here is, he, he's faking everyone out, out just by his puck location, where it is before he shoots, right? And then whoop, he pulls it in. So he had the puck here. Look at the defenseman stick. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna block this. What, where'd the puck go? Uh, it's <laughs> over here now, going top corner, right? So you can see how he's manipulating the defenseman stick. He has the puck in front, he moves it there. Watch the defenseman stick. It was in that lane where he wants to shoot it. He moves the puck this way, so the defenseman has to react. Boom, moves his stick out of the way as he's shooting to the other side of his body. That's deadly, <laughs> right? And then one more. This is uh, just a slow-mo shot of it. But just to show, oh, this is uh, another slow-mo. It, it's pretty much the same shot over and over and over. Uh, that's against Montreal, same thing, right? But this is the one I want to show you. So now the goalies are like, okay, we get it. You're going to put the puck here. You're going to pull it in here and you're going to shoot for this part of the net. I understand you beat me like that five times already, right? So he's going to pull the puck in. Goalie slides over. What does he do? Ah, shoots back to the other side and boom. You watch the goalie. He's, he's upset. He's visibly upset. <laughs> watch. He's like, ah, he went to that side this time. Yeah. All right, so let's work on that. Um, wide base, puck out in front. Uh, I'm gonna get Hayden to rip a couple shots just because Hayden, Hayden's a lefty. I'm gonna shoot. First. All right, I, I wanna try it out. All right, all right. <laughs> um, so let's let's go. I'll put the, puck, the, the net on this side. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the puck out here. I'm pulling it in here and then shooting for, I'll say that side of the net. Right. Don't forget that wide stance. Well, yes, so <laughs> wide stance, right, step one. Step two, you can start with the puck in front and move it this way because really we want to manipulate the defenseman's stick. 
So by starting with it in front and moving it out there, mm -hmm. any defenseman that's taught stick on puck will um, just by habit follow your stick out. He's following the puck out. He's trying to block. It, it, if it looks like, hey, I'm going to shoot the puck right there, he wants to block that shooting lane. So you get him moving that way. Right when he starts moving that way, you pull it back in here and shoot there. So maybe I should shoot top left here, actually. Just to make it a direct mirror. Yeah. yeah. Well, and because if I'm moving the um, puck this way, I'm opening space on this side. The net would, you'd probably be more towards this side yeah. as a righty. To, but, to mirror it properly. But whatever. For this purpose. Right. So <laughs> wide, wide base here, puck's in front, you move it here, here and shot. Right. The post. So toe it in and release it from right about here. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see this too. So we're going to pretend you're the defenseman. So uh, play okay. defense on me here, yeah. right? Pucks in front, you move your stick over here, right? And now I'm towing it in and I'm shooting it from basically like this part of my foot. So you guys can try this at home. Actually, if you have your hockey stick with me, you can just work through the, the motions. Like yeah, it, for sure. You don't have to literally shoot it, but just feel through these motions. Go wide stance. You can stand up if you're at your computer, wide stance, pretend you have a hockey stick, you know, <laughs> whatever, right? Yeah. And, and work on shifting your weight this way, towing it in, and then work on that. That shot is, is right there from inside this foot versus that foot. All right, so let's do a few more shots. I'm gonna go for uh, top left, the green one, the small Ooh, okay. one. Okay. Take a few shots on my hand try. Oh yeah, puck in front, move it out. Oh, oh. that's close, that's close. Okay, yeah. Puck in front, throw it out. Oh. And I'm a little bit slow, I can feel that, right? That's the difference. The pro guys, like Matthews, he's gonna pull it off in like a millisecond. Yeah, it's like right? boom, snap, it's gone. I'm yeah. happy I can even like work through that motion and get that shot off. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy if you don't practice, right? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Oh. Oh, Missed the net. That's what I expected more of. <laughs> there you go. There. There you go. There we go. There we go, Hayden. You're up, buddy. Right. The next clip I'm going to show you is a, a shot that Hayden, uh, I just asked, hey, hey, do you know what I'm talking about? He's like, no, I don't even. Yeah, I don't know what, don't know what shot you're talking about. Yeah. It is a clone goal. Uh, Matthews basically scored in this exact same way five times in la last season. And I remember seeing that and be like, oh, that was a fluke. Like, uh, nice shot, but like, did he actually mean to put it there? Right. And then when I was watching his highlights back, it was like, there it is again. There it is again. Th right. That's why I recognize that goal because he did it like five times in one season. He's targeting it, a yeah. very specific uh, part of the, the net where he's shooting. <laughs> and when you see it, you'll be like, oh, okay. Is it like under the arm? Or yeah, yeah, well, no, not under the arm. <laughs> oh, um, and, and you guys can use this when you're in that situation. You can look for this little spot and try to feed it through that spot. You're going to be good. So Hayden's going to take these shots. All right. Yeah, so we really got to try and get it close. Yeah, we want to put it like right in there. Yeah. Oh, it feels so weird, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and... That yeah, was like there. here? So, yeah, well, you know what we can do? We can just put an obstacle there. Yeah. Right, so, you basically want to pull it into like right here. So, you guys can do this if you're packed at home. Yeah, like put the puck out here. Right. Pull it in there and release from like basically... And, and that's the tell that you weren't yanking in enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, we got a good question. From Silky Mitts asking, does he separate it? Does he separate the puck uh, from his stick before he shoots? Let's take a look at the slow-mo and find out. Sometimes I, I think he does, but sometimes I don't yeah, think Yeah, I would he say does. not always. It's probably like about an inch separation just as he moves it from the toe to that pocket and then releases. There's probably a bit. Here, let me actually show you. Yeah. yeah. So, oh no, you just, okay. So like, he's gonna start with it on the toe and then snap it right there. So I, I'm guessing that's where the separation happens, just from that movement from the toe to that pocket right there. Um, Brian, I'm using coach's eye. Let's try this again. Gotta get wide stance. Wide stance. <laughs> I gotta give you a different <laughs> stick. All right, guys. Um, so, so that's our attempt at it. Um, I, I, a few people in the comments said I wasn't pulling in enough, so we got to practice more. And, that, and that's the thing. So Matthews has done this so much, and he's like a specialist. He's gotten it where he can shoot it from like right inside that, that foot, right, or sorry, from the left foot for me. Yeah. Uh, I'd be from the right foot for you. So he's got it. So he is um, 
fine tuned that style of shut to create that space. So he's releasing it from right there. The first few times you're gonna shoot it, it's probably gonna be like from there and there and there. And even I was probably still releasing it from right about there. So just keep working it and, uh, and fine tuning. Looks like Mason just arrived. <laughs> um, but we gotta look at the next style of shot that I was teasing you guys at when the sound cut out. This is literally like a clone shot. Matthews is targeting a specific part of the net. Let me uh, log in here. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> he steps to the side a little bit too, even get more of a pull. That's a nice one, Smitty Dangles. Uh, something to try. And remember, I want to see you guys try this at home. So if you're, if you're practicing this, put something in front to block that lane like, uh, yeah. like Hayden was doing. <laughs> and then it really is a tell. Uh, tag me on Instagram, tag Hayden, how to Hayden, how to hockey. You can post it on Reddit, how to hockey as well there. Uh, let's take a look at this, this shot. So right here, five hole. Look what he does with his blade. He pushes like he's going to go like up high and then he rolls his blade really quickly and then tucks it right under the pad. Oh, yeah. But here's what I'm talking about. He's targeting a specific part. Look where he's shooting from. So this, this one you're gonna use when you're in the circle, you're in close, and I love going five hole from this area, but typically for me, I'm a righty, right? So I'm just gonna step and try to snap right here. He doesn't have much of an angle. He is targeting, and actually I'm gonna play it for you first so you can see. Oh, it's, uh, it's hard to see from that angle. Let's yeah. do this one. Well, here's another one anyways. Uh, shooting from like low circle, he's going five hole, so he's targeting the five hole there. I don't know how he found his way through, <laughs> but it, it bops out the back of the net. This is the one where you can really tell. So here we go again. He shows the blade as if he's going for this side of the net, and he rolls his blade and puts her, let's see, this is, you can get a really good angle. Look at that slide. That is the area I'm talking about. This part of the, of, of the goalie, so the goalie has this. He knows this area is open, and he is actually aiming for that exact spot. He's had a few right? rolls like that, I can picture it. Yeah. Ex exactly, so that's San Jose, look at this. He rolls the toe, keeps it low, and puts it right there just inside the post. Look at the next goal, this is uh, St. Louis, right? Exact same spot, this is against St. Louis, just under the pad, so it's between the stick and the pad right there. And um, then we go, here we go, oh, it's a bad angle here, let me zoom in. This is against Detroit. Same spot. So he is he is targeting. He's in the bottom of the circle, right there. Just, just under, the under yeah. <laughs> just under the pad, just between the stick and the pad. He's targeting that spot, and he finds his way in. So that, and that that was all in the same season. I think yeah. it was like four or five of his goals this season. Uh -huh. He put in that spot. So we won't really uh, do a, a breakdown on that because it's just it's just looking for that spot. I want to share that with you guys. But you can for sure set up a scenario where you you create like a small area right there and just come in like maybe uh, walk. And you know, let's let's do it. I okay. think the a big thing that like people don't try like he really rolls his wrist over it. Like yes. it's a hard shot along the ice. It's not like a, it's a hard shot along the ice. Yeah. And he's so do something where like you can set up a stick. I'll just throw a milk crate or something. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, I would build something a little more uh, permanent than this. That's, that's a bad one. <laughs> just, I'll, I'm just going to throw a pad down right there. There we go. So I, I can see if you can replicate it. Yeah. There you go. Right there. Like, that's my area that I'm looking for. Right? Give yourself a small little triangle. Give him a nice close up look. Yeah. Right? Make yourself a little triangle to try to slip it through. Just that little area that you're targeting. Now, what Matthews does, if you go down, he. Um, he opens his blade like he's gonna go that way and then he turns it like that and goes for the pad. So he's selling for a split second and these goalies, they pick up on stuff like that. Like they're reading the blade angle and all that. Mm -hmm. Like they're trying to react in milliseconds. So when he opens the blade, they think he might be going higher to the shoulder and then all of a sudden he rolls it and goes there. They open up to try to stop it and they open up that little spot for him. So you could come just like grab a puck, come in here, look, right? And try to slide it under. And what we're doing here, it's. The skill, it's not really that skillful, but knowing that that's an area that you can uh, target and, and go after and take advantage of, that's what you want. So the next time you come down and you don't really have a shot, but you're in that area, you're like, oh, wait a second. Oh. <laughs> you can hit them in the stick. Cool, you can hit them right in the stick, but that's why you gotta practice it, right? Yeah. Just finding like right, right there, right? And guaranteed you practice that off the ice, you're gonna find yourself at one point in your season in that situation and your eyes will just go to that spot and you'll see it and 
you're gonna bury it there. Yeah. So that's something I thought was really interesting. Not really like a, a skilled move, but but still definitely worth practicing and you having it up there in the in the toolbox. Next one. So so this is we worked on uh, yesterday, Pasternak. This one's just about getting uh, shots off in those uncomfortable areas. I want to point it out that Matthews does as well. Going to the net, stick on the ice, and then just bop, right? That nice little stick out, show the blade, show him that you're ready. When it comes, he's, he's just a nice push towards the net, the right blade angle to get the puck in. That's something to practice. We did that in uh, yesterday's stream, so I won't go over it again, but something to continue to practice. You can see Pasternak does it, Matthews does it. They're, they're popping the goals in. They're about in there. Here's a, a different angle. Nice sauce by Nylander, by yeah, the way. Yeah, it was beauty. Here we go. I remember that goal. There it is, sauce. And right when it lands, you can see Matthews is already like flexing the stick. And he already has the blade open he already has the blade to get open. It, like kind of push it up over the pad. Yeah, and because that's all you want to do. You want to get it over the pad. Because um, the goalies typically, you got to beat them to the post, but these are the areas that will be, be open. And Matthews is targeting those areas, you know. So he, he's got the blade open just enough to get it over the pad. And that's where he, he tucks it home, right? Uh, so here is his signature shot. Um, but what I wanted to show is how, uh, how close he brings it under his body. So it's just to, to kind of re reiterate that for you guys. It is again, we'll zoom in, All right? Just giving you some different looks at it. All right. So driving this leg back, um, bring it in close into that base and then, whoops. That one he shot. actually kept out a bit further yeah, he, to so, get the angle so, he wanted, I think. Exactly. Yeah. And then that's the thing, right? So he basically he's trying is uh, actually let's rewind. Each it. shot he's probably way. looking at where the lanes are. Exactly. And then adjusting his path. So I want to show you so in some of them he's uh, got it like, you know, right there, but he can release it from there. He can also re release it from out there if the lane's there. Right? So you guys can practice uh, bringing it into different areas. Um, this I want to show is that he gets it on his stick and off the stick with no stick handles. He doesn't dust it off. It touches a stick, mm -hmm. he accepts it and rips it, right? It's almost like a one-timer wrist yeah. shot. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's just another angle. Bring it in. And that one, he, he, he brings this foot in. So he's planted on the back foot. Just different styles of getting a similar shot off, right? So let's practice uh, getting that shot off without dusting the puck off, catching the puck and shooting it. Uh, with this, you can do it with a ball if you have a friend like Hayden, let's get the uh, the hockey shot passer out. <laughs> that, that one's good, the give and go, but because yeah. hockey shot is giving away, we have a $50 gift card. Oh, you away. got the rebound. You know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll throw the, uh, the hockey shot out. So I think this was about the, the area that he uh, got it from. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's do the giveaway after this. We got to, or, yeah, we'll do it after this one. Yeah. No, we'll do it at the end of the stream. End of the stream giveaway. Okay. We'll do a, a, a quick Q&A after this uh, shot. We, I got a few more things to show from Matthews and then the challenge. All righty. All right. So what we're working on here, guys, you catch it and then shoot it without stick handling, right? It's so common. You get your, again, <laughs> you get your pass and then you have to go like that before you get a shot, right? So work on shooting in the catch, catch and release. You're gonna do a two for one deal here. As you're catching it, you wanna bring it into that sweet spot. So that's really what you're working on. That's the first thing I want you to focus on is use the pass, the reception of the pass, to get the puck where you wanna shoot it, right? So it's a very pur purposeful catch. I'm not gonna go like this and then smack the puck dead, yeah. right? And then stick handle and bring it where I want, right? It's, I'm guiding the puck where I want to shoot it as I'm getting the puck on my stick. So that's what I really want you guys to focus on. Um, don't just like, you know, crack it and then stick handle 10 times, shoot. <laughs> Show your blade, angle your blade where you want to put it. Uh, this is actually what I, what I teach a lot of kids on the ice. If you want to shoot the puck here, don't catch the puck there. Show your blade here so that it starts touching your stick there. You can bring it across and then shoot. So I'll actually put it off this passage just because it's set up that way, right? So the difference there, if I, want to shoot from here and I put my stick there, now the puck's dead, I have to stick handle it and shoot it. Whereas if I show my blade right there, right, so boom, shot. All right, see that difference between catching it and then stick handling it and shooting it? I catch it here, I guide it, and then shot. So I'll do it one more time with that nice low angle. Yeah. One more time, show the blade here, not here, because I want to shoot from here, so I'm guiding the puck, boom, shot. All in one motion. All right. Similar here, Matthews is showing the puck a little ahead of where he wants to shoot it so he can bring it back, control it, and shoot. Uh, let's go for the top right side. Just for 
one. Woo See if I can get that green one next. Oh, a little oh. high. Open the blade a little bit too oh, much yeah. on that. Oh, just under it. Oh, again. Oh. oh, no. See, but I actually could use all those ones. I'm trying to get like a comfortable pass, yeah. but I for sure could grab this one, pull it in and try to shoot it. Yeah. I just know it's going to be more of a challenge. Maybe you want that challenge, right? Yeah, exactly. One more time. Oh, just a bit low. Yeah, <laughs> and I can feel those shots aren't coming off as well as I would like. So that's something I could work on. But there's a challenge for you guys. Try that, catch the shot or catch the pass, shoot it um, without stick handling it. Uh, get that shot off quickly because what you're doing is you're trying to get that shot off before the goalie goes, uh, right? Yeah. Before he's ready, he sees that pass coming. He's sliding, everything's open, he's not set up. You want to get that shot as the goalie's moving over here, as he's got the five hole open, as he's like that. If you Eyes give him, at the net to see where the openings right? are. Yeah. If you give him a half second longer, it's, it's like the difference between, let me get in the net actually, <laughs> right? Pass comes over, puck comes on your stick, you can shoot it. So if you wait a, one stick handle, it's now you're looking at this before you had that, right? And we'll do it from this side, right? Okay, so puck comes across, you can shoot it, the goalie's moving across, it's on your stick, you stick handle once, this is what you're looking at. Big difference, right? So work on getting those shots off quickly. Next up. And stay tuned. Actually, let's, let's show some of the names that we got in the hat. Yeah, sure. Some people who may be winning the $50 gift card. Uh, we got Machiavelli Souks, which yeah. we uh, cannot pronounce his name properly. <laughs> uh, Matt Wade, too. We got uh, Weird Person 9, uh, a regular on yeah. Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Sniper Jeremy. We got MCT Hockey. Uh, we got Ben Plays Hockey. We got Nate Walker. We got Anaheim Ducks uh, 16. We got uh, Braden King, Nate LeBac, Braden yeah. King. We got a lot of basically anyone who has been um, commenting on a regular basis, asking great questions. Jay Mazzy, he's in here from uh, Twitch, always asking good questions. People who've been posting on Reddit, we got your names in the hat. Um, we, we pulled a few people off the Hall of Fame, people that are supporting, you know, give back. So it, it's a throwdown. We, yeah. we, we don't know who's going to win. Oh, yeah, I got to get the, uh, the iPad. <laughs> Guys, have you uh, been? Been doing your homework, I wanna know that. Let, let me know in the comments section if you've been doing your homework. Every stream I give you some things to try, some drills to try. Make sure you guys are doing that. Oh, here we go. So this is, this is the Austin Matthews 1T. There's something that I really like about this one and it's a little bit different from the other one. But uh, I'm gonna, oh, hold on. We gotta sound, sound the horn. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, a super chat coming through, appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, uh, Chris Lenaway. He says, thanks for slap shot tips over the weekend. Beauty. Uh, before Super Chat, I always felt like I was stealing hockey advice. Scott <laughs> 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 Grover, my game has improved faster than it would have otherwise. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome, Chris. Love that. Um, yeah, I love making this, the, the videos. I love uh, you know creating them. Here we go. So these are two different types of shots that we're going to try in one. So if you notice here, his, actually, I'm, I'm going to show the other one first. There's one. And then here is the other one. Oh yeah. Very different one timers and we'll work on both of them. Uh, starting right here, the puck is coming from this direction. His toes are pointed towards the, uh, the person passing him. What he does and, it, and his body is, is as well, his chest is, is pointed towards the puck where the puck's coming from. What he does is twist and he opens that foot. What that does, is it allows him to open his hips so he can, he can rotate around and he can rotate around and get that power with, through rotation. Right? When the puck comes in, you can see See that rotation? Boom, boom. So a lot of his shot power comes from body rotation, not as much from the legs. Obviously he's still getting power from the legs, but look at that. So he's open up and then twist completely open towards the net and he sniped it. You can tell because his hands went <laughs> up and they stay there, right? And then this one, so he's got his toes pointed towards the net and the puck's coming from the other side, right? And he just drives through. So he just pushes this leg back and tries to find that sweet spot. And I think that's gonna be a challenge for me. I don't, I don't know if I've ever practiced that. So that, that could be tough. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let, let's try both. Yeah, that's be a challenge. So first one I'm gonna do, we'll go with the, uh, the hockey shot rebounder. We'll get this milk crate out of the way so I don't destroy it. <laughs> yeah, it's already from a previous stream. I think uh, we broke it doing the radar gun. <laughs> So let, let's walk through this. Uh, so the pass is coming here. My toes are pointed at, and then 
as I uh, take that shot, I'm gonna open up this and then drive through. Uh, so, so pretty much right here, watch these, these feet pointed towards where the pass is coming from. As it comes, you step, open up that hip, and what that, happen, what, what that helps you do, if I keep this foot closed and I try to twist, it locks a lot of my, my power. I can't really get that rotational power. But with it open like that, it's a lot more free. And you can try this right now. If you're at your computer, stand up, go like this. Uh, pretend your screen is the, uh, the goalie. So you can put it on your shoulder, right? Try to twist like this and feel, feel that. Feel the, the tightness in your hips. It's uh, restricting your power. Now point your toe and twist like that. And you can see you can open up a lot more, get more power. So let's try it. Feel like that. Oh, I didn't really get that pass in the right spot here. Try again. There we go. Oh yeah! Take that orange target. Let's do another one of those up high. Oh yeah! Two in a row. Baby. One thing to note too is that we're so close here. In order to get it up to the top of the net, you have to drop down a bit. Yeah, more. yeah. So because yeah. I'm only like about ten feet from the net, that's yeah. why I drop down like that. But you can actually. So I showed that in previous streams. With some OV, of the guys I drop think, down. Yeah. OV, yeah. Pretty much every player does when they're in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, Got two oranges in a row. That's oh, yeah. good. With how far Matthews was, he had a bit more. He, yeah. he kind of just leaned back into it. So. Yeah. yeah. So, so for this one, I'm uh, not open. I'm already open towards the net, and I'm just trying to drive like that. So as this, uh, as my stick comes down, the blade comes down. I'm gonna drive this foot back and just drop onto this leg. Try to release it from probably right about there. And remember, I'm gonna hit the ground first. This might be weird to actually get the pass yeah. into the right spot. Not bad, actually. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that one was brutal. See, I'm actually moving my foot not at the right time. I want to do it as it comes through. Right. I wonder if I do it when I'm moving. Yeah, it's probably... Yes! Yeah. I like that better when I catch it on the move. When I'm moving into it, it feels a lot more natural. For sure. Because I can kind of, like, set up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because usually, like, my standard, whenever I come in on the ice and... And this is purely a situational thing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm coming in two on one, I'm skating, I'm getting close to net, I go like this and I start going backwards and gliding and I'm going like this. So if the puck comes, it, I have this entire area to sweep through, grab that puck no matter where it comes. Right. I'm driving through. It's a much more powerful shot. Um, a lot of players, so if you come with me, you can be, Hayden's got the puck. A lot of players, the younger players or newer players, yeah. right? Uh, I'm a righty, so I'm left side of the net. They'll, they'll skate in like this, right? They're just giving the backhand. It's a low percent. It's going to be hard to get a decent shot, right? Yeah. So instead of giving the backhand, I always tell the players, you know, open up like this. Now you're like you're going backwards when the puck comes. Bam! Right, it's a forehand. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good shot, right? So that's yeah. typically what I do. That's why. But, but I mean, if the puck comes across, why not be ready to just do that? Yeah. Right? So you can practice that. Yeah. One thing that seems common with Matthews is that he likes to keep his feet pointing towards the net. Yeah. In most situations. Like, yeah. Oh, that, uh, right? Hit the edge. Yeah. So, so, it's, so if, you have a, if you don't have a, a pass through banner from Hawkshot, ba bank a ball off of a wall or something hard, you can get a similar thing. Because you're just working on the timing, the motion, working through that technique. Uh, pay attention to what I show you in the video. Try to replicate it, right? Uh, maybe you can pick up something that I missed. Maybe yeah. you're like, oh, wait, let me try this, right? Be creative, be curious. Um, so I'm going to pass it on my back end. Gonna come back, and I'm going to step through it and drive that inside leg back. So there we go. Try that one out, guys. We got one more. Uh, still got the giveaway. Are we going to do two? And then... Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that. We'll tell them um, about that. <laughs> uh, Hayden's got a challenge for me. We have a very uh, a special way we're gonna give the uh, the prize away. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, uh, this is one more thing I want you guys to try. So here, it's just about moving the puck. He's going from uh, backhand, forehand, shot. So here we go, backhand, forehand, shot. Really quick uh, puck movement. Same thing here, he grabs, he grabs the puck on the backhand, goes to the forehand, gets that shot off. And oh, there, there was a little dangle. This, this will be a oh. bonus one. I'm going to challenge you guys to replicate this and show me on Instagram. <laughs> so this one's backhand, forehand. Really simple to work on. Um, this is, so Austin Matthews, I think his specialty is really changing the angle. Mm -hmm. He can do that in so many different ways. So as you saw earlier in the stream, he changes the angle by going backhand, toe, out, shoot from right there, right? You're, you're throwing smoke. 
You're making it so confusing to the D. He's trying to match the goal. He's trying to match the puck. You're here. You're here. You're shooting from there. You're, bo- you're creating those shooting angles. So here's another way you can do it, right? If you go backhand, forehand shot, right? Because now you're showing the puck here. You're bringing it there, shot. So there's a few different ways you can do this. Um, we can just start with a stick handle there. Oops. <laughs> start with a stick handle there, bring it there, and then get that shot. So I'll do that a few times. You uh, aim for that top right, green one. And what I notice is I'm less accurate when I'm here, right? Let's see if I can be more accurate. So I'll pass into it. Oh, that was just tickled it. I just <laughs> missed it. Let's go. Backhand. Oh, put oh, it over. Flip that. Flip that bomb me. Right? Look at it still rolling. <laughs> right. There we go. Backhand. Oh, picked up again. That backhand, you're lifting it up. Well, because that, yeah, that's the thing. So I'm going like that and then uh, trying to shoot it so quick. So I got to work on rolling it. That's what I'm going to try to do. Instead of lifting my stick up like that, that yeah. can cause it to flip, I'm going to um, roll my top hand a bit more, bring it like that. So. Th- I'll bring it more. Actually, it could probably help me get more power too. Okay. Right, there you go. Not bad, not bad. A little different. Back in. Right, the orange one. Back in. Ah, that one flipped up. So there we go. I didn't get the green one. I got a couple of the targets off there. Yeah. Uh, but you can tell my accuracy, it's, it's a bigger spread because I'm throwing a move in first. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we could do it uh, a little closer into the net. Uh, and you can even go one hand on the stick. We did this in an earlier stream, but it's always worth repeating. Do this today as well. Um, yeah. Grab it, one hand on the stick, pull it across, and then shot. Okay, Bye. one hand, <laughs> shot. <laughs> Making that pipe sing. Yeah. Sounds like a, a gunfight at a bell factory over here. <laughs> hey, what? So one hand on the stick, pull it, shot. One hand. Uh, can't get that green one. <laughs> the green one's Ready? haunting you. There you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a challenge and uh one more challenge for you guys i'm, I'm giving you guys a lot like you guys are gonna yeah. your afternoon is gonna be filled up um if anyone can replicate this on uh on instagram we'll enter you into uh the next draw for the hockey shot 50 dollars gift card not this one but the next one so i want to see this over here i figure i gotta throw in an austin matthews dangle yeah so right here uh he holds the puck out there, it's a little bit behind. Toe drags it in, walks the guy. Little goalie he, thought he was gonna shoot. Yeah, yeah. Go, oh, he did for look, sure. He look at this. At it, right. That's his normal shot, right? Yeah, like, usually he shoots it from there, but then he's, he, the puck comes in front. Goalie's ready for like a backhand or something. He, oh, he's also looking at the pass. Yeah, that's the thing because he it, Matthews can easily uh, just pop it right over there. And then there's a little uh, magic wand if you guys notice that. Watch the, watch the magic wand. Whoop, whoop, whoop. whoop. Right? <laughs> Little uh, no, no dangle dangle. What am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Right? So you guys can throw that in your deke. So it's a toe drag. Let's, let's call it out. Toe drag. Uh, stop it. Magic wand. Forehand back in. In. All right? <laughs> so see if you guys can replicate this at home, garage, driveway, whatever. You can see the puck starts behind. Uh, then it goes into a toe drag. Then you're going to stop it on the back end. You're going to do a magic wand wave. And then you go uh, backhand, forehand, backhand, and in. <laughs> Want to see it on Instagram? If you pull it off, tag me How to Hawk. You can tag Hayden as well, How to Hayden. Yeah. And then um, yeah, we'll, we'll put you in the ne- in, in the next draw, the Hockey Shot gift cards. Uh, big thanks to them for sponsoring the uh, the stream. And I think we'll do the draw after the challenge. All right. So Hayden has a challenge for me. I don't know what it is. Cool. <laughs> Here, Let's set it up. This, you guys yeah. can do this one as well. Yeah. So many challenges. Uh huh. Lots of. Cha- it's just like. Uh, the oh, challenge is up. Oh, we so. never did the question and answer. Oh. Stay tuned for that. Yes. Okay, I need uh, whatever you call those things. Targets? No. I'm going behind the tarp. What you got here? What is the analysis app? See you, see you Hayden. <laughs> oh, Bye. Some super deekers. Do you shoot, shoot off the heel? Okay, so um, what is the analysis app? It's called Coach's Eye. Really like that app. Uh, really great to scrub through footage. It does cost money, but I mean, for me, it's worth it. I use it all the time, um, especially when you get some good slow mo footage. Uh, right. Might as well answer some questions while Hayden's setting up. Do you shoot off of the heel on this shot? Uh, no. So I, I'll, I'll grab my stick and show you guys. Basically, what you're gonna do: uh, start with the puck right on the toe, and you use that toe to, to, to toe the puck in, and then you shoot out of this pocket right here. So 
So right, basically right in the middle or maybe a little more to the pill. When you're younger, that's gonna be pretty hard to do because the puck gives so much resistance and it's further out on the blade. So the puck wants to twist, or the blade and the stick want to twist and open up. You need to really grip the stick tight when you're uh, going into that release. I'm gonna show you here. Um, if, if you got some strength, it's gonna be a little bit easier, right? So toe and then pocket, right, right there. So you pull it in at the, uh, the end of the stick of the toe and then you snap it right there. That's for Miles Sobke. Uh, oh, we got some more questions coming in. Ammon says, can you do Patrick Kane? Yes, definitely doing Patrick Kane next. Let me check on Twitch. Anheim Ducks, Coach Jeremy, NHL Network's Ice Time with Austin Matthews on YouTube. Um, it's a good recommendation, kind of missed it. <laughs> I appreciate the recommendation. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out, maybe I'll link to it. Uh, or drop a link in the, in the stream. And some more. All right. Can you do the move on a dummy? On a uh, dummy. That's a good idea. I actually do have a dummy here. Um, his name is uh, Duster. I thought you were going to say Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do it on him. Sure, I can do the move on Hayden. <laughs> uh, no, I, I got like a wrestling dummy and I uh, filled him up. He, he's in the back. I was going to hang him from right there. Um, I, I, I had him set up in my last garage. All right, we got a challenge. Hayden, explain the challenge. All right, so pretty simple. Um, how, how many shots will it take you to knock down the three targets after Oh, you going, got the left side, I got the right? Yeah, so I'll go the left side, you go the right okay. side. So you're going forehand under, backhand over. Oh, backhand over. And then shot, like without, like trying not to dust it off too much. Of course, okay. So, so it's like, and then oh. shot. And how many shots will it, like who can do it in the least amount of shots? Okay. The hardest part I think will be actually settling down the puck after the, yeah. without like stick handling. So, so there's a challenge. I haven't even practiced this, so we it go, could be a, there's a no bust. Warmies. It's, it's yeah. forehand under, backhand over, shot, three targets. He put the small ones up too. <laughs> and uh, yeah. all right, let's go. You, you count yours out. All right. Ah. Oh. All right, so that'll count as one. That counts yeah. as an attempt. Oh no, I'm, yeah. I'm cooked. Two. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. What the? Three. You look better in the shooting competition. It's, it's hitting. It's hitting. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll do t ten total attempts and the right. best out of the tens, just in case we're here all day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Those count as your warm ups. We're gonna start over. Right. Um, I'm changing the rules. We're gonna yeah. do ten attempts. You get ten shots at this. Um, whoever knocks down the most targets in 10 shots, if you can even get one shot up. Apparently, yeah, I, I kept hitting <laughs> underneath Under pressure. All right, let's go, starting again. All right. Uh-oh, that's one. I'm gone. One. No. <laughs> get a new stick, yeah. break it. Let's uh, give myself a bit more room here. All right. No! Oh, that's two. <laughs> I, like I swear, I've done this you, before, you guys. up, yeah. warmed up. <laughs> So you see that? Yeah. yeah it just I hopped. That's three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is in low profile mode. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. That's four shots. Okay. That's, that's not five. me. Five. Yeah. You got bad hands. <laughs> uh, we'll say four. That's five. All right. Six, uh, nice shot though. Here we go. He's getting a stride. Ah, Seven. puck flipped up. Oh, eight. Two more. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> just took the Tried to save it. Nine. Ah, ten. God. So, I'm. Should have ra should have raised it up, make it. I'm a bit happy easier. that I'm going second because <laughs> I see where. Where things may oh, yeah, go wrong I'm for showing me. all the mistakes. Oh, me. yeah, like, okay, let's make sure we get her under there. Yeah. Just, uh, intent. <laughs> all right, so I, I, just I almost to, had to like spin the puck just to get it to slide. I, have under to, there. I only have to snipe one to tie, two to win, <laughs> 10 attempts. I think this is possible. Um, I guess I'll stay somewhere in the same spot. So it's, it's forehand, backhand, shot. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna move this just a little bit, adjust if that's okay. Yeah, it's more in the middle. All right. So what we don't want to do is have the puck roll up and hit there. Keep the, the blade cupped right on the forehand and the backhand roll it out. That's the trick. Um, if you get coming nice and low, might as well give them a little tutorial here. Yeah. If you lift your stick like this, it's going to lift the puck. 
right? Same thing on the forehand. If you lift your stick really quickly, it lifts the puck up and that's what's gonna cause it. So what you wanna do is uh, twitch that top hand. And you know what, I'm teaching this, I guarantee I'm gonna do it at least once or twice. <laughs> right? Cause, but, but you wanna like give a little like tuck under, roll, right? See how on the, on the backhand I roll it out the back, right? Roll it out the back. But you have it, to go over the stick. So. Oh, oh no! Yeah, on this one I have to. I yeah. have to. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good thing you reminded me of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here I actually do want to hit it like this and chip it. Yeah. All right, ten shots. Here we go. Off the bar. That's one. That's two. I think I. She's getting it underneath. I need to pop thing. it more like back here because I feel I'm like really jumping into that shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, just in the three. middle. I like that puck. Let's do it again. Oh, same spot. Four. Or was that five shots? I think it's four. Four. Five. five. Why aren't these targets bigger? Uh -oh. Six. No. He dusted it Seven. off. Seven. I missed it first. I got the shot. Yeah, though. I'll give Seven. it to you. I'll give it to you. Eight. I need to hit one here. Need to hit one. Oh. Gotta open that blade a little. Yeah. No! Oh. No, that doesn't count. What do you guys think? Does it count? I think it went over. If I did that, I just stopped. <sighs> okay, we'll, we'll call it a tie. Call it a tie for the challenge. You guys yeah. go ahead and do the same. Only got one. You you were like so close. At least you got it like yes. under and over. I got and a lot more shot attempts. I kept yeah. putting them all right there. Uh -huh. I do like that challenge. It's something I think like, um, if I practice it, we had some more warm ups. I can yeah. do a lot better. <laughs> uh -huh. um, that was fun. I like, you know, it, it puts a move in before your shot. Works it, on quick hands and getting the shot. Yeah, off, that's but, working yeah. on accuracy under pressure, which is so important. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys are all sitting there, shot, shot, shot. Pick it from the pile, shoot it. Pick it from the pile, shoot it. Yeah. Don't do that. Add some pressure to your shot. <laughs> Let's do the draw. All right. And tell them what we're doing. Or question and answer first. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Question and answer right, first. We, we're teasing we actually, them. wait a minute. I think we got some super, more super chat. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, question and answer period. Uh, remember to do your homework, guys. I'm gonna timestamp this all up. If you want to go through and see what Matthews is doing, uh, previous streams are timestamped, so you can go there, you can watch and see exactly what we talked about at, at the exact second. You click on it, boom, you can go through it. Uh, yesterday's stream was Pasternak, not Marchand. A lot yeah. of people didn't tune in. It was, it was a, an April Fool's, was an April joke, Fool's guys. joke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, so there was a good comment. It's like, oh, I know how to play like Marchand. Uh, lick people's faces, break their sticks, and uh, slew <laughs> foot them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, just yeah, be a rat. He's a skilled player, I, you know. But he's yeah, he's uh, developed yeah. his uh, yeah. reputation he, as a skilled, a skilled player, player too. Yeah. Uh, so let, let's go through some of the super chats, answer those questions. All right, two questions, then we'll end it with the the giveaway for the fifty dollar hockey shark gift card. Yeah, and if you want to get in the next draw, all you got to do ask questions. Um, tag us interact with us. Interact. Be a part of Team How to Hockey. That's yeah. you guys are. Um, you know, you guys love us. We love you. We give back. Yeah. You know, work the deal with Hockey Shot. Give you guys some stuff. Yeah. All right. We got Jake Butt Dollar. Jake D Butt. Thank you Thanks. so much. We got um, Connor no through question. his dad's account. Eric. Tre no question for the other one. Twenty bucks from Eric Treister or Connor. Thank you so um, much. He says, "I'm so excited to use these on ice." Yes. And any tips for a ten-year-old that's four two? Four for, foot oh, for, for size? Yeah. Well, is that big or small? I know, it's hard <laughs> to know for a 10-year-old. 10-year-old, 4'2". I mean, I should know because I, I have coached 10-year-olds. I guess I just didn't know like their, their sizes up. Yeah. Um, it sounds, no, it's under 5 feet. I'm going to say it's small. Let me know yeah. in the chat. Is 4 too small or big for a 10 year old? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of like my kid, my, uh, my friend's kid. I'd say the biggest thing is play with confidence and have fun. Um, <laughs> here's what I would do. 10 years old, the brick tournament is like a big deal, trying to make it to the brick uh, invitational. Watch those highlights. Watch what 10 year olds, the most elite 10 year olds are, at that t are doing at that time. You can see clips of PK Subban when he was 10 years old, Steven Stamkos when he was 10, Mitch Marner, all those guys played in those tournaments. And you can see what they were doing to be the best 10 year old because you want to be the best 10 year old because you're 10 years old. Mm. Trying to do stuff that the NHL guys are doing, maybe it's a little bit more advanced, right? But this, it's like it's right on your level. It's things that you can do, things that you can accomplish. What I've noticed, um, crossover speed, one hand puck control and lateral movement just crush among <laughs> 10 year old kids. Mm -hmm. If you can go fast, but also cross over and go fast because Every kid at that age, well not every kid, but at the more elite level, mm -hmm. they've learned how to take a good forward stride, but not as many know how to do a good crossover stride. Yeah, so the agility part of it. This is basically like a, a guy going coast to coast. 
He picks up the puck with one hand. He pulls it in. There's, there's like a player there. He pulls it in, does a couple crossovers, gets past that guy. Two hands on the stick, crossover this way, gets yeah. past this guy, yeah. loads it up and just snipes, right? But it's, it's that speed. So crossover speed, one hand puck protection. And to be honest, you watch the NHL guys, McDavid, uh, Goudreau, Crosby, they're all good at those things as well. So it's good to, to focus on that at a younger age. Mm-hmm. Um, and we got Swifty 50, two bucks. I still watching. Streets. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, Swifty 50. Yeah. Always appreciate it. Great. great and your name is in the hat, by the way. Yes. The $50 gift card. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Connor Lasalle is asking if we can do a video on splitting the defense. Yes. So, Connor, I wrote he that asked down. That earlier. Yeah, we I did that earlier that. in the stream. I wrote it down. Definitely uh, a topic that we'll go over. Yeah. Um, Hockey Dude 34 says, or asks, what can I add to my shot to make it seem like a real game situation? Oh, it's like all those things that we're, we're going over there. It's like uh, toe drag it in first, go backhand, forehand first. So we're just keep pushing yourself, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so, so so move away from just and, and this is fine when you're newer. Pull a puck out of the pile and shoot it. Pull a puck. You're trying to get that feeling of what is a good shot. Once you have that feeling and you're accurate, then you do the things that we showed in the stream. So I mean, we've done. I think three streams, this is the fourth one, on like breaking down players, what they're doing in a game. Mm -hmm. So we showed Crosby, he pulls in with one hand, shoots it. We just showed Matthews, backhand, forehand shot. Showed Matthews, holds it out here, brings it in there and shot. Um, we did make a swinging hockey stick. <laughs> yeah, build uh, your own defense. I, I knock yeah. it down, that can add some pressure. Get a friend to kind of like swing their stick. Um, put things in the way that you have to find a shooting lane, stuff like that. It makes it more like game situation. Be creative, yeah. yeah. Um, Beverly Hunter asks, after Patrick Kane, who are you, who are we covering? Um, are, are we going to do maybe, some defense? Maybe, maybe, we, I mean, I, I mean, we haven't done McDavid. We haven't done yet. McDavid yet. And we only have, what? We'll, we'll do next day. week. I think yeah. we'll do another week. Yeah, we probably have like enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, anything you're coming on through on Twitch? If you guys want to, uh, hop in on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash coach Jeremy. Um, Stefan Gwen Gwen asks, Hayden, Gwen. how do you transition your weight in your shot? I think, is it Spanish? Like G-U-I-L-L? No, it's G-E-E-W-A-N. So oh, Guan. It literally, like how yeah. you, okay. Yeah, like, yeah that's how I would pronounce it. Yeah. Um, he asked how I transition is my weight you? in your shot. Yeah. All right. Um, how do you do it? You want to grab your stick? Walk yeah, through it? Sure. I, it's kind of funny because that's something that I think I should work on more. The, tra the weight Is the actual weight transition. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm missing out on some power. Yeah. In my shot. But for me, it's... It's kind of like uh, similar to Matthews in a sense where I'm like, I'm not um, lunging too far yeah. and, and leveraging my stick too much. Oops. This. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. 